second cast, second fish. <laughs> I knew this was gonna be good. I knew it. This one's better. This is what it's about, people. This is what it's about. Hey, out there in YouTube land, Rick here. Out for another glorious day of fishing. I came out to this same lake yesterday, thinking that I could beat some of the rainstorms that were headed across the state, and that was another failure. I got here, and no sooner than I started filling the kayak up than it. Uh, Excuse me. I get distracted with fish. Like that. Oh, missed him. That was a fish. I'm struggling a little bit with this rod. I'm using a different setup than I usually use. It's a lot stiffer rod, stiffer hook and a sinker, which I never use with these worms. I normally go weightless with a Senko. So I gotta set the hook harder. I'll get it. You just wait. I'll figure it out. And when I do, game on. Okay, anyway, as I was saying, I came to this lake about three weeks ago, four weeks, and it was the lake, you remember, a church lake. It was flooded off in the timber and stuff. Well, I was in my boat that day, and I just could not fish it the way that I thought it should be. I wanted to get in amongst, get, I wanted to go in bush, you know. So I've been waiting and biding my time, and finally, yesterday the weather seemed right. You're grabbing the tail. I'm going to have to do something about that. So anyway, yesterday seemed right. The only problem was there was a huge thunderstorm going from one end of the Minnesota all the way to the north end, rolling across. It was hitting the Dakotas. I figured I'm going to head this direction and maybe get a gain a couple hours on the storm. That did not work. was an utter failure, but just as I was setting up the I'm a line watcher. Just as I was setting up the kayak, the rain started and I waited for a while and when I looked on uh, the radar program entire state of this storm had morphed and covered the entire state of Minnesota, so I gave up. I'm back here today to try again. This is very next day. Very next day. And uh, we're going to fulfill a dream I've had for a while of getting back in this timber, going hunting. Well, I found a little one back in the woods here. Little. There's got to be a big one hanging in here somewhere, you think, though, wouldn't you? Got to be a big one. 
Why wouldn't there be? That one, people. This is a little bit better one. Yeah. Come on, tell him to daddy. Look at that one, huh? Caught that dead ahead there. Dead ahead. Get back to you. Look at that one, huh? Yeah. That's a nice fish. I knew they'd be back in the woods here somewhere. I just knew it. Hey, and I still got a worm. Whoa! There's one. This one feels pretty good. Yeah, not bad at all. Are you on? Yeah, you're on. <laughs> My idea is working. Back in the woods. Back in the woods, people. <laughs> this is what I'm casting into, just stuff like this with a weightless worm, believe it or not. There's a tick. Keeping my rod at a 45 degree angle so I can feel every little tick and bump. Thing is, now I'm getting out to where bass boats can go along the edge and cast into this stuff. I don't like fishing used water. Sometimes I like doing it just to prove a point, you know, that you don't need a lot of money and a big fancy boat and all them electronics to catch good fish, so. All you need is, well heck, this would be a little deep. This looks like about six feet deep here, but $200 kayak, you don't even keep it under 10 feet in Minnesota, you don't even need a license on the thing. This is 10 foot 5, so I gotta buy the license tabs that you see there. Time to try a new spot. <laughs> They're all fun, people. They're all fun. This lake does have big, bigger bass, but uh, it's not known for bass. It's more of a crappie lake than anything. But in recent years, the bass have been coming back, and uh, the, the guys are starting to figure it out. So each time, every year, there's more and more boats on the lake, big bass boats and stuff, unfortunately. Another one, people. Ah, bit of a scrapper. Nothing wrong with this fish. Nothing wrong with this one at all. It was hardly hooked even. Wow. Are you on? Yeah, yeah. Look at that baby, huh? Nottingham Forest. Robin Hood. <laughs> I'm like Robin Hood. I'm robbing bass from the rich. Giving them to us poor guys who use kayaks for a living, huh? Robin Hood. <laughs> oh, I like that. I like that. That's good.
Is that cool or what? I feel like I'm in the Everglades. You got to see the whole cast and everything on that one. Another, another swamp bass. Look at that one, huh? That's a nice one. Nobody could get to that unless you had a kayak. And that's a fact. No, but without a kayak, that fish is uncatchable. No bass boat could get close enough to cast into that area. That's what it's about, people. There's one. Got him. Oh, that was a nice one, people. Fish of the day. <laughs> That's one I robbed from the bass boats. Robbed from the bass boats, people. That's one I robbed from the bass boats. Well, getting right back in the bushes on this one, aren't we? Look at that. Nice, nice fish. There he is in his own environment. Yeah. I think it'd be oh. Well, guys, that's it for fishing with me today. Fishing with Rick. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch. Thank for... I don't get a lot of comments, but the ones I get, I really enjoy. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> today was Robin Hood. I like that. Start over, Rick. Today was a lesson in Robin Hood. We were robbing bass from the rich people, from those guys that got the bass boats, the big bass boats. Not only could they not have gotten their big, fancy $80,000 rigs in to where we were fishing today, they couldn't even cast to these places. And you saw what we were doing. It was a beautiful, fun day. So anyway, I want to thank you for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe if you want to follow me, and uh, <laughs> let's go rob some more bass, huh? Gotta find some Robin Hood music. What's Robin Hood music? Mm -hmm.